what we have here is we are collecting like terms. So like terms, terms, terms are uh, any combination of variables and numbers that are together with multiplication or division. Terms are separated by addition and subtraction signs. So what we're trying to do is collect terms that are, uh, are like. Like meaning they have the exact same variables no matter what. All right. So uh, in this case, we just have uh, choose. So right here for problem number one, I have two Qs plus seven Qs is how many Qs? Well, I can add two plus seven is nine, and the Qs go along for the ride. Nine Q. Now, of course, the more terms we have, the more complicated it is. So in this case here, I mean, there is subtraction. I have four terms. I have a negative eight, a six Z, a four, a seven Z. But are those really what I have? So I tell all the students, you want to change to addition before you start collecting like terms. Because if I just start collecting like terms and said, oh, well, that's negative 4, and that's going to give me 13, you're going to be messed up. So we want to change to addition. So I rewrite the problem, changing to addition. Negative 8 plus negative 6z plus, instead of minus positive 4, plus negative 4. And then at the end, I already had a plus sign, so it's just plus 7z. Now, I am looking to collect my like terms, have the exact same variables. This one and this one do. Negative 6z's plus positive 7z's, well, negative 6 plus positive 7 is positive 1z. Now, in a lot of cases, we don't write the 1 because it's just 1 times z, same thing as z. I'm crossing out my terms as I use them. Plus, now I have negative 8, negative 4. They have the exact same variables. There is none, right? So these are like terms. So these two together are going to give me negative 12. And I have collected like terms. Okay, short video, so good luck with that.